If you want to do burlap embroidery, we're going to start with a plan in your sketchbook. Make sure you draw what it is you want to make. Then you'll get a piece of burlap and on the back you'll put a piece of tape with your name and class. The next thing you'll need is a needle, a needle threader, scissors, and whatever color you want to start with of yarn. The fiber center scissors are only for string fabric. They are not for paper. This keeps them sharper. The needles for burlap embroidery are in this box, which is inside the fiber center. There's a picture that shows you how it should look when it's cleaned up. So to thread your needle, you're going to take your needle threader, which is a folded piece of paper, and you're going to put your piece of yarn inside that piece of paper and close it so that the yarn is not sticking out one end. Then you take your needle threader with the yarn in it and you push it through the eye of the needle, hold that, and then your needle threader goes back in the needle threader kit. We are just going to leave a little tail hanging as it shows you on the needle threading poster, which is in the fiber center. If you have a knot like this in your string, we will need to untie that. That will not go through your fabric. So we want to be careful when you're getting your yarn set up. And then down at the other end of your yarn, we're going to tie a knot. I suggest that you use an arm's length of yarn when you're working. That way it doesn't get all tangly. An arm's length is how much yarn fits between your arms when they are stretched out. So no more than that. To tie a knot, you make an X around your finger and you tuck this tail around and behind and through that opening so it's like a pretzel. You have to be able to do this yourself, so you will need to practice until you can do this on your own. Mrs. Hayes will not tie your knots for you. I will work with you, but I will not do it for you. I tied three knots just now to make sure that it will not go through the spaces in my burlap. My next step then is to make sure that I know what my plan will be. I am using a marker to draw my design. And don't use a, a really dark marker because then you won't be able to cover up your outline. We don't want to see this outline later. Or maybe you do, maybe that's part of your design. So I drew it lightly, my letter A, A for art. Then the back side is where your name is, so you're going to take your needle that's threaded and we sew, we hold it over the eye of the needle so it does not keep coming unthreaded. And I'm going to start in one corner. I'm going to push my needle through, hold the eye of the needle, and pull this all the way through until it reaches my knot. I'm going to do what's called a running stitch. So because I came up through the fabric, now I'm going down through the fabric, pulling it all the way through. I'm flipping it over every now and then to make sure the back looks good. I leave a little space, needle comes up through the burlap, hold it by the eye of the needle, pull this all the way through, again flipping over to make sure that it looks good on the back side, no tangles, no knots. I'm going to make my stitch a little bit bigger. And what I'm doing right now is called a running stitch because the yarn is going to look like it's running across your fabric.
When you reach the end of the color that you want to use, or maybe the end of your shape, make sure your yarn is on the back side where you started with the knot. So do one small stitch if you need to. Then you're gonna find the closest stitch that you just did. So for me, it's this one. And I'm gonna slide my needle through that stitch. And I'm gonna pull my needle through, and that's gonna to start to make a loop. Now before I pull my loop tight, I'm gonna put my needle through the back side of that loop, and then pull it tight, and that makes a knot. I always do this twice just to make sure my knot is tight enough. So again, I slip it through that stitch, I make a loop. Before I pull that loop tight, I go around the back side with my needle, loop it through, then I pull this tight. Now I can cut my yarn just above that knot and I'm ready to either change colors or move my needle and start sewing the inside of my letter A. If you want your stitching to not just be an outline, we can do something called a satin stitch, which is a way to fill in. So I've already threaded my needle, I've tied my knot at the end, I've chose a different color, and I'm gonna start over here at the corner, as close to that orange as I can, pull that all the way through to the knot, I'm keeping all my knots on the back side, and then I'm gonna do this stitch all the way over to the other end of the A. Pull that tight, and that makes a white line. So then I'm gonna put my needle back over here just above the last white line I did. Pull that all the way through, and then again all the way over to this side. So this is kind of like coloring in with your thread. So I'm gonna keep stitching until it fills up that A. Eventually I will have to add more white yarn. Now I was not holding this by the eye of the needle so it came unthreaded. So when you're stitching, we wanna hold it right here. 